Creating healthy habits that's going to last and that's going to benefit you and your lifestyle. Lavender spray on my bed. Protein. And hey, listen, we all need to go to the toilet in the morning and the CAM blend has done wonders for me. 100% take this bad boy. It's amazing. Oxy shred. It makes you kind of focus on what you want to do and it just gives you that drive. And this is what gives me the drive to go to the gym. This is just my puffer jacket by LSKD. Leave my code on the screen for you guys. Another little tip that I can give you is having a good set morning routine. Mm -mm. He's married to a personal trainer. What else does he want? He's a qualified PDHPE teacher. Laziest bloke on the block. They like kids. Body science, can you please sponsor me? This is all the BSC bars that I have. In a little sprinkle. I dub myself the protein smoothie queen. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to my channel if you guys are new or welcome back to my channel if you guys are a returning subscriber and in saying that if you guys are new I would really appreciate it if you guys can hit that subscribe button. I upload videos every single three days so seeing my little family grow on here is amazing and it just keeps me accountable and keeps me motivated for making more videos for you guys every single three days but without further ado I'm going to get into today's video, the topic of today's video and it's going to be creating healthy habits that's going to last and that's going to benefit you and your lifestyle. So I have taken the I've taken the effort to make a video for you guys where you guys can adopt new habits that is going to be healthy and that's going to benefit you or that you guys can take into account and make it your own as in making it a lifestyle for yourself that's going to be less stressful, benefiting you on your mind, your body and your soul. So without wasting any time, let's get into my day. I'm going to be talking you guys through my nighttime routine. I started this video on the nighttime because that is what essentially makes my morning my morning, if that makes sense. I have adopted a new morning routine for the last six months that has really, really benefited me and my lifestyle. It just has made me a less stressful person in the morning. I'm not rushing around to get things done. So in the, in the nighttime, I will usually, uh, work time finishes for me around like 6, 7 p.m. 6 p.m. is when we have dinner. So like I will do whatever I have to do with my clients and whatnot and I won't answer anyone after that time. I will just go on like Instagram for the pure purpose of going on Instagram or watching a couple of YouTube videos for the pure purpose of watching a few videos and winding down and whatnot but usually it's finishes around 6 p.m shut my laptop and get my dinner prepared and as you guys would see later on in the video i'll show you guys my dinner and all of that but while i'm getting ready for the night time the bedtime routine is very important to me so i like to actually i know it's not good but like hey whatever it just makes my soul so comfortable and it's just amazing it's like the best part of my night but i will have my dessert in bed and this is usually like pancakes or like brownies that i've made myself protein brownies that i've made myself or like a protein custard with some pancakes or whatnot or a donut protein donut i will have this in the night time with my husband in bed and we will watch a few netflix shows or whatnot and that just like feeds my body and my mind and my soul and it gives me the chill effect of the entire day because look i'm a very busy person and we all are you know our own little senses this just really helps me wind down for the night and around 10 30 o'clock and 30 o'clock around 10 30 in the night time we will both shut our phones and everything and it'll be that we'll either sit down talk in bed or we will just genuinely just fall asleep because we're so tired i do like to put some lavender spray on my bed before going to sleep about an hour before i sleep and um that just helps me you know kind of wind down that kind of scent i have gotten used to many years ago it just like reminds me of sleep so it helps me get to sleep a lot better i started this habit when i started living alone um i started putting love because i was a really anxious person obviously living alone at first was very anxious and it was very like scary for me so that's the reason why i started it and it just reminds me of going to sleep and everything so i like to spray lavender on my bed an hour before i go to sleep so as soon as i get into bed my mind knows that it's bedtime and it'll start getting into the mood of bed and just start to shut down start to wind down start to de-stress and all of that stuff so that's the way my nighttime routine starts then i'll go take my makeup off i will put on my pjs get into bed i would like to read a book sometime depending on um if i like the tv show sometimes ned watches his stupid dragon ball z and his pokemon and everything so i'll just read like a book that i've got on the side of my bed that you guys will see um but yeah my night my morning routine starts at night time and then before i go to sleep i will make uh a couple of meal prep stuff so i'll go ahead and i'll make ned and i's lunch for the next day and just get everything organized so in the morning i'm all ready i know what i'm doing i'm just gonna put the food in the containers or whatnot and put it in my bag and head off but anyway let's get through my day Ooh. 
Okay, my loves, it is breakfast time. I'm gonna head off to the gym in maybe like an hour, an hour and a half. But before I go, I do wanna make breakfast with you guys just to show you guys my breakfast and give you guys a little bit of tips on breakfast itself. People make the biggest mistake by missing breakfast. I reckon it's the most important part of the day. I don't believe in intermediate fasting unless I have woken up with a really, really bad sore stomach. And like you guys would see in a later on clip, I will be showing you supplements that I do take that kind of helps with bloating and everything. So let's get my breakfast prepared. The first thing is some protein because I do train an hour and a half or an hour after I eat my breakfast. Um, and breakfast as in it is a smoothie, but it's so calorie dense and it is so satiating with my fats, carbs and my protein that it acts as a meal and it's like 900 milliliters long Paul I do mix coffee and breakfast together because I find that having the two together is essential for me I don't know I want to have like one cup of coffee and then a whole smoothie do you know what I mean so I just add my shot of coffee into my um, breakfast so what I do is I use two scoops two servings of the blessed protein whichever one I have I just recently finished my cookie crunch one and this is the peanut butter cup so that is on hand. That's going to be my protein in my breakfast. And then we are going to use, this is my cereal box. So we're gonna use three biscuits of uh, wheat beef. So get that out. Sometimes I do use quick oats, which is these over here. I've just got to refill my jar up. Sometimes I do use quick oats. Sometimes I use like some actual rice bubbles. And then sometimes I feel like just some wheat bix in my protein. My sources of fat in this is going to be... I just put out everything at once. So my sources of fat in this is going to be some PB2, peanut butter, and then some cacao by Nestle. Flavorings are also one whole banana as well, which is another carbohydrate. Flavorings is just the salted caramel flavor, and we got the natural naturally sweetened chocolate flavor and another salted caramel syrup. I think that's about it. Yeah, let's get into it. Love this new angle. Okay. Let me just replenish my oats. Just for your reference, this is the oats that I use. Got my trusty little scale over here. 45 grams of wheat mix, which is three biscuits as you can see. Close this. And that's already 29 grams of carbs. And then we're going to do about one and a half to two scoops of protein powder. So that's already 51 grams of protein in there and 41 grams of um, carbs in there. And then next, let's add in our banana. We got 52 grams of banana and then my coffee shot, then my cacao, some salted caramel flavoring, then we've got the chocolate flavoring, and then the salted caramel flavoring. Just a tiny bit of it. And blend that bad boy up. And this is literally my breakfast that I have every single morning. She is as bigger than my head, actually. A lot of people make the biggest mistake of missing breakfast or skipping breakfast or doing intermediate fasting. I don't believe in it. I honestly think breakfast is the most important part. Important part. Impart, important part of your day and I think that for your hormones for your digestive system for everything in your body to be able to work at an efficient level and for you guys to be able to show your um, progress in the gym and, and do an efficient workout and put in that energy you need to have your protein your fats and your carbs for your reference this whole breakfast is 459 calories, 56 grams of carbs, 6.2 grams of fat, and 52.6 grams of protein. So that is a pretty hefty breakfast. I mean, I'm getting a lot more than eating your standard typical breakfast, which is like avocado on toast. Mm. Another little thing I'll talk about while I'm here, 
is um, your training style. So as you guys know, I like to lift weights. I like to do hypertrophy training. Everybody's different. Everybody likes to train different and it's different things work differently for everyone. So weight training might not be for you, but I would say find something that you actually genuinely love. Like I actually love weightlifting. I love it. I love the training that, you know, lifting gives for me. For some, that might not be the case. You guys might not like weight training or you guys might prefer HIIT. When I was younger, I used to do HIIT workouts like there was no tomorrow. Seven days a week, I would do HIIT workout literally till I am huffed and puffed and sweaty. I wouldn't call it a session if I wasn't dripping in sweat. And honestly, that has such a bad impact on your stress hormones, your cortisol levels in the body and your hormones in general. I lost my period, as you guys know. I overtrained. I stressed my body out to its absolute max. So if this is walking you love, if this is skipping you love, if this is CrossFit you love, if this is F45, weight training, HIIT workout, do it but do it sparingly, treat your body right. Don't miss a training, just try to be as active as you can and I will get into being active in the following, like throughout the day, a little bit later on. But be as active as you can, train in a way that you're going to love and that's all there is to it. Okay, well I'm gonna go pack the bed up, gonna go get ready, I'll see you guys in a tick. This is the spray that I've just been using on my bed. So what I do in the morning is just grab this after I pack up my bed and just spray that all over my bed. I get this one from Kmart. It's just like a room mist. Honestly, I think it's a body mist, but I use it as a spray for the room because it kind of smells like that. There's like a blue one, purple one, and then the pink one is what I use on my sheets before I go to sleep. And then as you guys saw, I just changed it into my workout gear for the day. Your girl is on her period. And when I'm on my period, I like to wear like these yoga flow pants because it's just really easy, especially on leg days and like glute days and everything that I can squat easily because like look how loose they are. Um, and they're just very, very comfortable. And also you can wear them after the gym too. And it looks like you've got a full outfit on if you just fix it up a little bit like that. But this is going to be the outfit of the entire day. And then what we're going to do now is I'm just going to show you guys a supplement that I take. Sorry, I'm still trying to like brush out my hair. So I'll go in the kitchen and just show you guys the supplements that I take every single day without a doubt and how I get Ned's and my lunch and everything prepared. He's already at work. He's already taken the lunch like his two little chocolate um, no shoe bars. Um, but let's go in the kitchen and show you guys how I like to prepare my mornings. Hang on, I'm trying to put my shoe on. Oh, oh, TD for the day. Love it. So my bag is always ready over here waiting for me. I have my diary waiting for me over here. And then I will always make sure to pop in my earphones in my bag as well. The protein that I use for myself is the Blessed Protein. Ned is just finishing up this one and then we're going to be switching him to the EHB Labs one. Um, he's gonna, he really likes the Blessed one so he wants to really try out the the normal whey protein and I do too. But for my supplements, all right, I hope that view is good for you. But for my supplements, first thing in the morning, if I'm bloated and especially if I'm on my period, because I find that it really does help. On my period, it helps with the bloating. It helps with the discomfort the period pains bring in the mornings, especially. And hey, listen, we all need to go to the toilet in the morning. And the CAM blend has done wonders for me in working the bloat on my period. I absolutely love this and I take it on the days where I tend to eat out with family or family is cooking because I'm a Western medicine. Mediterranean background. Um, I'm Turkish so my family loves to cook with oily foods and oil just does not agree with my body. So I do wake up loaded the day after I have had a meal with family. And hey, listen, it's going to happen. Sorry, just fixing the system. It's going to happen. But the C um, Active Blend has really, really, really helped with my bloating in the morning. So on the days that I either eat with family or on the days that I do feel bloated, 100% take this bad boy. It's amazing. My second thing that I do is I make up my uh, Oxy Shred. Oxy Shred is a fat burner, but it does not burn fat on its own. You've got to put in the effort. What this does is it's a mood enhancer. It is a, it makes you kind of focus on what you want to do and it just gives you that drive to put in that extra set and extra rep. I absolutely love it, but like it really, really does alter my mood. I find myself singing in the morning. So what I do is I just put 200 mils in a little bottle, which I will show you. I keep these in the freezer because I like them like a little slushy. So what I do is I put 200 mils 
in a bottle, shake it up with the one scoop of watermelon candy, shake it up and then pop it into the fridge around 6 o'clock and then I leave around 9 o'clock to go to the gym so by that time it's a little bit frozen and I can have it like a little slushy. And then this little bad boy over here is my pre-workout, my glutamine and my creatine monohydrate. Love this stuff. And this is what gives me the drive to go to the gym. So I like to use the Pride pre-workout. This is a non-stim formula but it has the same amount of caffeine and the same amount of effects that a normal uh, pre-workout would usually give you. Actually even a little bit better, better because it gives that constant upper energy um, like boost I want to say and then it doesn't decrease like others let me show you a little graph that they have actually put on the back of it so the red one over there is other pre-workouts and this is how pride actually works so it gives you a gradual decrease of energy it does not give you a crash whatsoever I've been taking it for six months now and I am in love this is like my fifth bottle I want to say and I've tried all of the flavors today I'm actually picking up the skittles or the candy kind of flavor creatine monohydrate I've had a whole video on my supplements I will link it over here um, and L-glutamine love this stuff this especially L-glutamine for your digestive system I find that it actually helps me go to the toilet because it is a beautiful coating around the intestines and around your digestive tract so love this stuff and then I also freeze it with my pride in the freezer by the time I get to the gym as you can see it's already like a little slushy Super three your workout you're done all right so by this time I go get my lunch from the fridge and then I just pop this bad boy pop my drinks into the bag into my gym bag and then head off to the gym I'm not going to show you guys my workout in this video because it is a healthy habits kind of dedicated video but if you guys do want to watch my workout I have literally all my other videos there available for you to watch and I do go through my workouts and give you a full description of how to do the workout I don't just show you guys anymore um there are some workouts where I've just done montages but let me go to the gym I'll speak to you guys up oh I feel like a snowman this is just my puffer jacket by LSKD leave my code on the screen for you guys but I just wanted to talk about before I go into the gym some stuff that you guys can do in the morning as you guys saw I have a radiating amount of energy and yes that is because of my pre-workout and my oxy shred but before that like my sister always messages me saying how the heck because she watches my stories how the heck do you have so much energy in the morning and that is genuinely because I go to sleep with the conscious thought of I'm gonna have a good day tomorrow and then as soon as I get up in the morning I don't check my phone because the blue light on the phones and everything on, on screens and all of that have a really bad effect on number one your mood and number two your hormones and stress levels and cortisol levels and all of that so within the first hour of waking up I'll get up do my morning routine and all of that which I'll get into a little bit later on about morning routines but I do things that's going to benefit me so I will make my coffee I will sit down write my to-do list I will sit down and write three things that I am going to achieve today in that day or three things that is has been on my mind that I just need a brain dump somewhere so it's not like lurking around in the back of my head subconsciously and me stressing about it if that makes sense it's on paper I know I've got to do it and it's off my head and off my chest another little tip that I can give you is having a good set morning routine so you want to create habits in the morning where it benefits you or benefits your schedule don't go copying someone else's morning routine you want to be benefiting yourself from your morning routine so watch YouTube videos that that has a morning routine in there and adopt a few habits from those morning routines and make it your own. I took about six months to create a morning routine for myself and I honestly love it. Like I'll wake up, I know what I'm doing in that day, I'll write my to-do list, I'll check my workout schedule because I write my own workouts. So I'll see my plan. By the way, if you guys need a online coach, online personal trainer, hit your girl up on Instagram. I will create um, like a little morning routine for myself. So uh, I have adopted this habit this morning routine for the last six months I want to say and it has benefited me so so much but that's the that's another little tip so create a morning routine and create habits in the morning that's going to benefit you or your lifestyle or your busy schedule or if you're a nine to five person that's going to benefit your schedule don't go copying anyone else's way I'm going to go and work out I uh, will see you guys while I'm having my lunch in the car on my way to pick up some more oxy shred I got the cutest delivery from my lovely LSKD Bam Bam. I got this puffer jacket. They sent over a puffer jacket. Didn't even know. Oh my God. I'll show you in the mirror as well. I just... <gasps> 
can't wait to take photos in this. Oh, I'm in love. Let me flip the camera. Oh, you were just in my in my little jewelry box. But how cute! Bloody love it. And it's gonna keep you so warm. It came at the right time, and it's got like little drawstrings. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. I know I'm saying oh my god too much, but like it's really, really pretty. I really love it. Wow. This one is in the size small, so it is oversized. But thank you so much, my LSKD lovely, gorgeous freaking family. I am in love with this and I can't wait to take content in it and can't wait to wear it out. Oh my god, I'm going to be so warm. <laughs> I didn't even realize that they had the tights in there. This is comfortable like this is hashtag comfort look at that this is the seven oh the material is just amazing and it's got pockets <laughs> um <laughs> sorry over enthusiastic but it's just the wrap tights and it is in this size small oh my god pockets on both sides love that for me i'm gonna be living that still got the tag on the tag over there I'm gonna be living in this <laughs> Oh, gorgeous. I can't wait to take photos today. Okay, people, we are done. This is your little bit of a reminder to move your body at least 30 minutes of the day. I am a personal trainer, so by nature, I have to be enforcing people to move their body. <laughs> it's just a habit that I've gotten into. It comes with the career, so soz, but not soz, move your body. So I'm going to be having my lunch right now. As you guys saw last night, I got some chicken prepared, some pumpkin mash, and a little bit of salad and one egg. That's another tip that I want to give you guys. You want to be preparing your lunch at least twice a week don't go meal prepping for seven days it's not gonna last it's not sustainable because you do get sick of the food so on Wednesdays I like to prepare my lunch which was two days ago um I like to prepare meals that will you know keep me accountable for the next two to three days and I do it for me and Ned as well I do get his smoothies prepared in advance so I'll put them into little ziplock bags you guys have seen this in a previous video put them into little ziplock bags and just freeze it so in the morning I can just pop it out put it into a blender put some milk in there put two scoops of protein powder and shake it up or blend it up and give it to him with me I like to just prepare my lunches because my morning is at home obviously I do have my breakfast smoothie and then my lunch is always on the go uh, I will always keep like little snacks and little protein bars in my bag but usually I will have my afternoon snack at home it'll either be a smoothie or it'll be a protein bar with some peanut butter or it'll be like a little crust with some peanut butter on it or whatnot a little cottage cheese and tuna moment but that's just something that I really really love doing and that's just a really good habit that I've gotten into uh, is just preparing your meal on hand and also preparing in bulk as well so what twice a week I will make bulk meals as in I will make like a big chicken mint with some vegetables or I'll make some turkey patties that I know that I'm gonna be able to use for dinners and also meal prep as well if I'm ever stuck or if like we get sick of what we're having for meal prep and I'll just switch it up a little bit so creating your meals you know in bulk preparing two days worth of lunches or three days worth of lunches dep depending on your work or your work schedule or whatnot or the schedule that you guys have and um preparing foods in bulk so again like i'm saying i will get like vegetables ready i'll make like a simple stir fry uh, i'll boil some chicken and cook some chicken things that i am able to put into a dish within 15 minutes will usually make some rice and some pasta in the fridge ready for me to go um, and have them just like boiled potatoes so i can just chuck them in the air fryer for about 15 minutes and they're all nice and crispy and everything so that's just a little bit of a tip anyway i'm gonna go to the supplement store i'm gonna get my pre-workout or my oxy shred maybe like a little sneaky protein bar moment don't know we'll see i'll see you guys very soon i just had to show you guys the perfect bite i've got a bit of egg Got a bit of chicken, got a bit of pumpkin and tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. If you guys watch my YouTube videos on a regular basis, you will know I have a fully functioning kitchen in my car. <laughs> tomato sauce. <laughs> what can I do? I eat on the go. We don't want to make meal prep all disgusting. Got to go to Coles or Woolies and um, just pick up a few things for home. I made like these pieces the other day that I'm gonna make in this video as well. So I need to pick up some more pizza bases for that. I initially got the pizza bases for this video, but obviously your girl can't 
hold herself and I made the pizzas already. So we're gonna mash up the second time. Mashed pumpkin. Switch it up. I don't always need to have mashed sweet potato or mashed potato. The gut loves new ingredients and to be able to have a healthy gut microbiome, I need to be incorporating different types of vegetables. So I like to alternate. You guys realize and if you guys watch my YouTube videos on a regular basis, some weeks I'll have like broccoli and peas and corn. Other weeks I'll have pumpkin, cauliflower, you know, beans or something, arugula, rocket, spinach, and then I'll have like my lettuce mix. I'll just switch it up week to week. One of my clients, I know it's totally unrelated. One of my clients actually is having a couple of gut problems, as in like digestion problems. She's waking up bloated and everything. It's only been a week she's been with me and I'm just resetting her gut for her. So I'm just going back to the beginning, making her start from scratch, which is what I do with all my clients because I don't know their history. I don't know their past. So we start from ground zero and work our way out, which is what I'm doing with her. So I made her cut out just for like a couple of days just to give her digestive system a little bit of a rest because she's waking up very bloated and uncomfortable comfortable all stop all kind uh, kinds of like added protein protein powders stevia all of that artificial stuff and we're slowly reintroducing them back one by one little by little vegetable by vegetable just building her strength up in her gut again it complains that we have so much chicken in our diet god i can eat chicken five times a day this guy he's never satisfied i'm making the healthiest freaking meals he's married to a personal trainer what else does he want sometimes i have to force him to go to the gym literally force and threaten him laziest guy mind you he's graduated from university he's like career wise even though he doesn't do it as a career but he has worked in the industry as a pdhp teacher he's a qualified pdhpe teacher laziest bloke on the block they're like kids Honestly. All right. Gotta go. Love you. See you soon. Back home, guys. Time for a little grocery haul. I'm going to show you guys what I got from the groceries. From all this. It's a tiny one. Okay. We've got two bags. Very, very random stuff. I've got my low carb pancakes, some white peas for the dog, some sweeteners, two thingamabob of chocolate sauce because, oh, did I get the wrong one? Oh no, I got the wrong one. All right, I'm gonna have to give that back. Damn it. Caramel coffee, some Nutalex. I'm gonna be popping these back in to the fridge and whatnot while I'm showing you guys. Some Steve's maple syrup, sugar-free maple syrup. Frozen bananas for smoothies. Frozen berries for smoothies. Some Nando's sauce, love that stuff. Some strawberries and cream flavoring for my smoothies and this is what was rattling in there it's just some Jamie Oliver little glass bowls thingamabobs of almond milk hang on let me put these away Nando sauce because I'm gonna make um, some chicken skewers sometime and these were on special so I just got a top-up of my almond milk this is the good brand I love the Vita soy ones they're nice and creamy especially in your coffees they don't taste just like water. Back to girls, top up of groceries. All right, my loves, I've got a couple of things to film, but I thought before I change my clothing and make my smoothie and film it for Instagram, I'm going to show you guys what I keep on hand, keep in the car, keep in my pantry to keep myself accountable. We're going to be talking about snacking. If you're a person that likes, you know, three main meals a day and you guys can do that, hallelujah, good for you. But I've tried it and trust me, I can't do it. I need to be snacking. Literally every two hours I get hungry. So for me, snacks are very, very important and I genuinely love bloody snacking. We all know that. You guys have seen my taste testing on my Instagram. But I do keep a lot of snacks on hand in the car, in the glove box, in the little like compartment near me. Um, I keep a lot of protein bars on hand. I'm gonna show you guys a couple that I bloody love and that you guys need to try it as well. I literally have like three dedicated sections of my pantry full of snacks. Okay, let's get into it. Which one should I go for first? This is my prime pride and joy. This is my little snacking uh, basket, if you will. And I'll show you guys what kind of protein snacks that I have in here that kind of help me throughout the day. Let me just fix my camera because Listen, we're on Struggle Street today, okay? I think that's better. All right, so the first and foremost, you guys know how much I love EHP Labs. So I do have a couple of their little Lust protein bars. I did have the uh, coconut, coconut, coconut something, coconut paradise bar as well, but I did recently just eat that. So love that. You guys know I also love the BSC bars. Literally, look at how much 
hang on, this isn't going to fit in one hand. Oh my god, okay, you guys get the idea. Body science, can you please sponsor me? This is all the BSC bars that I have. Look at that. I'm not even kidding. Okay, let's go through these. All time favorite salted caramel protein bar. Love this stuff. I got about 10 of those. And then my newly found amazing freaking treat is these little protein balls. One is in chalk honeycomb white chocolate and the other one's in cookies and cream. Amazing. Love them. Can't get enough of them. The other one that I absolutely have fallen in love with is the rich milk chocolate. Think of eating a chocolate bar, right? What I do is get P2B, PB2. I always call it P2B. Powdered peanut butter. Love it. Put some cacao in it or cacao, whatever you want to call it. Dip this in. Eat it. It's like a peanut butter slap. I swear to God. Another one that I love is their cookies and cream bar. Sorry about my dogs. And then another little treat that I love is the all natural indulgent bars. I usually have these around like 4 p.m. mark to tie me over from, you know, my snack and dinner. And then I also have their chalk mint crisp one. This is just something that I just chuck in my mouth when I'm hungry. I find that I snack a lot in the car and I get really hungry while I'm driving. I am a Panna chocolate fanatic. Not even joking. This is the amount of Panna chocolate that I love. And by now you can probably tell that I love white chocolate and salty caramel so this one is the hazel white chocolate this one is like basically empty i've got like the tiniest bit in there let's probably be finished tonight and then i have their macadamia white chocolate amazing stuff this is just i like to finish the entire box when i'm in bed and i don't have a treat with me or i don't feel like making something like making a dessert love that you want to always keep uh snacks on hand or in the car or just quickly readily available so you don't go for the unhealthy options because i know myself i'm notorious for you know or well was notorious for leaving myself hungry and being that person like oh i'll just eat when i come back home you know and that never ends out to be good anyway i'm gonna make my afternoon smoothie i'll see you guys in a little bit with another little tip so it is now snack time i'm gonna make a smoothie recipe and i will pop up the recipe on the side but let me show you my ingredients so we're just going to be using a serving of the blessed protein um 40 mils of the Natvia, what's it called? Salted caramel sauce. And then 30 mils of the Steve's sugar-free maple syrup. 100 grams of the banana chunks. And also 20 to 40 grams of the quick oats, depending on how thick you like it. So let me blend this bad boy up and show you guys how it turns out. In a little sprinkle. Oh, I love that. Amazing. And I'm not gonna touch that one because I'm going to photograph that one. But definitely a morning oatly banana smoothie. I dub myself the protein smoothie queen. Oh man, I made a Snickers one that you guys died for. Anyway, gonna finish this, gonna take photos of this. I'll see you guys whenever I see you. Okay, just back from the supplement store. I've got my own shaker over here, the one that you guys saw me make at home. But she gave me, she's so cute, I absolutely love her. She gave me one in the opposite kind of um, little thingamabob. So that's another EHP loved one. What I did pick up though was the Pride pre-workout. Absolutely love this stuff. So I'll be taking these before my workout. I'll try to have it with my Oxy Shred in the morning. And then intra workout, you will be taking the Beyond BCAAs. Love this stuff. But I wanted to get into the last tip of the day, and that's your neat activity. So your non exercise movement kind of thing. And I'm a person who sits in front of the computer. Yes, I do do 10,000 steps, but listen, I make sure I get those 10,000 steps in a day. If I was to be sitting in front of the computer, like I always do, but because I work in front of the computer, I find it very hard for me to be able to move. So as I've grown older, I've kind of appreciated the fact that I can 
park and I do park a little bit more further away so I can get in that extra movement so I can get in that extra steps and um, just move my body the way it should is made to be moved I would encourage you guys to not only for your physical aspect and for your physical well-being but just for your mental clarity for a walk I find that when Ned comes back home sometimes I'll be like hey you know what let's just go for a walk like let's just take the dogs out even if it's for like 10 20 minutes it really does rewire the way you think and it also just gives you that little bit of fresh air it gives you that little bit of you know a healthier approach to the rest of the day kind of thing and clears your mind I'm a person who is constantly thinking of this that and whatnot and it honestly plays the biggest role on my mental health and mental clarity so just moving your body and keeping your non-exercise activities and movements at its top tip top I want to say um to be able to get in that you know extra movement and extra steps and whatnot in the day if it means grabbing your you know trainers and walking to the train station and then changing into your heels and going to work do it if it means parking a couple of blocks away from where you are actually meant to be going and going for a walk I mean considering the weather conditions as well do it go in for that walk go in for those you know little bits of stride if it means just getting up in your half an hour break while you're eating your sandwich or while you're having your coffee just taking a stroll around the office or uh, like inside the office do it <laughs> I can't stress it enough. Walking and clearing your mind and getting those non-exercise um, movements in your day is very, very important. So I thought I'd add that little bit here too because that's what makes a healthy lifestyle and makes healthy habits and creates a healthy mind, body and soul. So that's going to be my last tip of the day. So I'm filming my outro a little bit <laughs> earlier. As you guys can see, I'm back in the car. But if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like because it really, really does support my channel if you guys have any video suggestions leave them in the comments down below i upload every single three days so i'll see you guys in the next three days bye for now